I'm familiar with uh, Fuller's in London, and they make a great porter. ESB is excellent. Um, less familiar and more difficult to get a hold of is the Vintage Ale. Uh, I think it's been 16 years it's been coming out. Uh, it's uh, an old ale. Categorized as an old ale. Uh, this can be cellared, maybe, or drunk now. If, if I like it, I'm going to buy another bottle. Uh, it's interesting because it has uh, Goldings in it, which I believe gives uh, spice. Uh, it has uh, Sovereign hops in it, which are, give it a fruity, peachy type of taste. And Target hops, which are, uh, I think, uh, the high alpha hops. So, uh, should be interesting. Um, they have a house yeast, which they don't talk about. And uh, this is bottle number or 13132677. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Okay. Now, Rich from Rich's Beer Reviews reviewed this, and that's how I found out about it. It's supposed to be served 50 to 55. not too cold. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Good. It's about 52, so we're on the money here. Lots of carbonation, interestingly enough, in the bottom. Nice gold have a gold copper color um, and lots of carbonation interestingly enough on the top uh, hardly any head with some lacing Ooh, the rums fucking great I wasn't expecting this you never know there is this this peach Like peachy fruit is something else which I can't. Figgy. Figgy is a good adjective. Um, a peach peach like fruit would be a good way of describing it. It's also figgy. Raisin. It's a lot more complex than I thought it was going to be. I'm shocked. Okay. You never know, because I'm, I'm used to drinking full of supporter. This is a totally different concept. Mouthfeel is very, very... Uh, it's pretty moderate. Very interesting, um, very interesting taste. I almost would have wanted it a little colder, but uh, I think maybe 48, 50, right around there. You could even get colder, but it's very fruity, but a different type of fruit. That figgy, peachy type of fruit. with some bitterness in the finish. Now I'm going to do something. I'm not sure whether I have the right glass. This is a kind of a goblet, uh, sort of. This is a quasi-snifter. Let's see how it tastes on this. No, I like it better in this glass. Okay. You need a wide, you need a snifter for this. This, this is. This isn't exactly a snifter, it's pretty close. I 
Okay. This is really great. Um, peachy, maybe pears, some spice. Uh, this is great. I don't know, I've never had an English beer like this. And to my knowledge, all these hops are, are English hops. So, uh, this is a class act, folks. If you can get a bottle, buy it. If you can find two bottles, buy them, because I really I really should sell it. They say you can sell it for a while, but it's dying to try it. Um, the fruit on this is very different. I'm not used to this. I drink a lot of IPAs. You get the, you know, the grapefruit and all that, the citrus. There's no citrus in this. This is figgy, peachy. And it's beginning to mellow out. So maybe I retract the last statement. This is a sipper. It's beginning to, even though it's 8%, it's beginning to mellow out. And it almost has a finish like a whiskey. And then I had a beer like this. I've had Old Ale before. I think uh, uh, Old Ruffian maybe in Old Ale. But, um, the finish on this is really fucking good. I mean, it's it's almost like a booze finish. Not bourbon, but more like whiskey. Um, let me try it again. And there is vanilla. That's what I was missing. Yeah, a great bitterness on this. But it's very, very pleasing. This is complex. This is really, really complex in a very British way. Very European. Americans couldn't make anything like this. At least right now. Okay, so let's go over it. Uh, superb. <laughs> I have to say, I'm kind of shocked. I didn't think it was going to be that good. 8%, uh, it tastes like something that's 10 or 11 with the complexity, you know, uh, beer advocate game. It's a very high grade. It's like 95 plus. And it doesn't matter. What matters is the style is just phenomenal. This is, this is like something you're not going to taste very often. So, by all means, Pick up a bottle if you can find it. I don't know where you can find it. Uh, I do, though. And as a matter of fact, the guy's got a lot of them in stock, and I'm going to buy another one. Till next time, find those great beers, my friends. Cheers.